if you voted for Donald Trump in 2016, but won't in 2020, what changed your mind? 2016, he ain't Hillary 2020, he ain't sane. 2020, he ain't sane C. In the left side of Trump's brain, there's nothing right. In the right side of Trump's brain, there's nothing left. Grew up in middle of nowhere conservative town. Took what my parents and others said as fact and adopted their political views. I never did my own research on politics. Since then I've met amazing people who've helped me see things from a different perspective. Now I see the issues with what I believed before. Happy to say that I do much more research and don't just go in the voting booth blind. I'm now pretty far from conservative. I learned stuff and kept an open mind and now I'm not conservative anymore. Is exactly how myself and a few others I know changed our stance on a lot involving politics. Keeping an open mind, if the real takeaway here. I was disappointed with a few things that he did here and there, but I wasn't that aware of the scope of something so it didn't seem so bad. Then covered happened. He didn't wear a mask until recently and suddenly many of his supporters became anti-maskers. Instead of leading by wearing a mask and encouraging people to wear a mask, he continued to not want anyone to wear a mask at events. Then he started encouraging bad treatment of protesters. I literally went from a lifelong Republican to a Democrat within months. It kinda freaks me out that I changed so quickly, but I realized that they'd been using brute force to do what you think is right despite what's morally right or what the country wants is just plain wrong. I'm less worried about my taxes going up a little if it means preventing a child dying from malnutrition. I'm less concerned about making sure there's no welfare fraud if it helps people that truly need it. BTW I was always socially liberal. I just felt like most social issues didn't belong in politics. I've always wanted prison reform. Equal rights for everyone but in realizing most Republican politicians do not want those things. I feel like my eyes have been opened and I literally used to think liberals were oblivious to taxes going up. I was wrong. I'm less worried about my taxes going up a little if it means preventing a child dying from malnutrition. I'm less concerned about making sure there's no welfare fraud if it helps people that truly need it. We a less shit right there. You're awesome dude. I used to think welfare fraud was a concern, but then I thought about how Trump had all these loopholes to not pay taxes. Then all these companies have loopholes so they can make billions and trillions and not corporate taxes. But then people want to yell about welfare checks where as far as math goes, 100, 000, 000, 000 cheating the welfare system for a few hundred bucks equals just one of these assholes. So if the gov needed the money, you'd think they'd go after the corporate assholes first. But a person cheating welfare to pay utilities and get extra cheese? Not my concern. I was a Republican by upbringing. I watched no other news but Fox News via my parents until I left for college. Once I gained my independence living across the country for college, I started to develop my own views. I started to get my news from more reputable sources like the app. I started to realize that many of the views I picked up from watching Fox all the time were very one-sided and often didn't result from an understanding of the full picture. And it definitely took a while, but once I started looking at multiple sources, the biased wording common in Fox articles is easy to spot and easy to avoid no matter the source, both right and left wing bias. I should add, at the time of the 2016 election, I was on the fence. Unfortunately I still held on to the last shred of the Republicans are the good guys. Therefore I must vote for them and also the Clintons are power hungry tyrants that I had left over from my childhood. I regret that vote. But that election night marked the last time for at least the foreseeable future that I vote Republican. I'm currently a registered Democrat though I consider myself a fairly moderate liberal. And I find this position much better suits what I actually believe, not just what I'm told I believe like when I was a kid, and what I find important in how society is governed. TL.
Dr. Fox News is basically propaganda, and it's super obvious if you get your news from multiple reputable sources. Which changed my views. Edit. Spelling edit too. Here's a handy media bias rating site called Adfonts Link. Adfontus Media com slash that i found is overall fairly accurate with reporting on different media biases i use their chart often when comparing sources i had the same experience it is amazing what 10 minutes of online searching can do to broaden your knowledge i understand that my parents generation was used to getting information from one source years ago but today there is no excuse just ignorance I feel like I was flippant in 2016, I'm in a blue state that doesn't split electoral votes, so I felt like I could do it and it didn't matter. Since then, I've just grown as a person. I've gotten married, watched my husband get diagnosed with a disease that would bankrupt us if I didn't have a government job, and it changed how I saw people. No one should have to decide to go bankrupt to get treatment they need to survive. I'm now willing to pay a little more so no one has to suffer, like we were so fortunate not to. I've also taken multiple diversity and equity trainings since 2016 that have helped me understand concepts like how saying all lives matter dismisses the point that some lives aren't being treated like they matter. Just personal growth and this sense of not wanting anyone to suffer. Edit. Well. I didn't expect any movement on this post. It's a little overwhelming. For those calling me garbage, I hope that makes you feel better. And if that's how you approach people you want to change and grow, you're going about it wrong. But that's just my opinion from the trash can. For those with kind words, you're definitely not garbage people and I'm thankful for your well wishes. My husband gets the life saving treatment he needs nightly and we're hopeful for the future. For the questions about why I figure I'd pay more in a universal healthcare system, I'm very fortunate to cover myself and my husband with the best tier for us is $14.33 a month, with a $250 deductible each, and a $1.500 out of pocket maximum. Edit. I didn't give thought to what my employer pays, and the idea that I might get more if they weren't paying that cost, more ignorance on my part. I'd cynically believe they'd just save the money, but I suppose they'd have to share to be competitive. Close bracket. So for many people, some form of universal healthcare would save loads of money, but I don't imagine it would for me. It just won't matter to me anymore. Unfortunately, and I don't think I'm alone here, it sometimes takes seeing the impacts of something before you can understand the need for it. I never really understood the main reason you're usually given when it comes to universal healthcare, and that's taxes. In Germany we pay a total of about 14.8% for the healthcare, but it's split up between you and your employer evenly, so you end up paying around 7.4% yourself. If we assume an average income of $2,400 over 55 years of working before retirement that's a total of $117,216, or about $177 per month. Considering that the emergency transport to a hospital can already cost Americans about $2,000 I think it's a pretty good deal. But that's just my opinion on that. Because it'll put the major insurance companies out of business. The second largest insurance company in the US is Anthem. They run the Blue Cross Blue Shield of, state name, insurance companies. Their net income for 2018 according to the secretary filling was $3.750 billion. 3. 198 billion. So they spend a good deal of money lobbying to ensure they can continue to make that kind of money. Edit. Largest insurance company appears to be United Health Group. Their net income was $14.239 billion. 12. 14 billion. It'll be voting for Biden after voting for Trump in 2016. Hit politicalization of a pandemic and poor response to it are the main reason for the change. I also strongly dislike the way he deals with Russia and the cronyism amongst his cabinet. I didn't agree with everything George Bush or Obama did it stood for. But I believe they were trying to improve the country in the best way they saw how. Trump seems to be only selfishly motivated and has made a mockery of our nation's highest elected office. I'm not proud to live in this country as long as he is at its helm. I look forward to November 3rd. The underrated portion. 
and the portion I don't think many will point out, is how you mention that you believe Obama was at least trying to improve things. It is very, very difficult to get a Republican to say that under any circumstances. I remember something my dad, who is very, very Republican, told me growing up. Actually I was just a kid, 9 I think. Clinton had just been elected for his second term. I asked him if he was happy about who won the election. He said it doesn't matter if I'm happy or not. I hope every president is the best one we've ever had. That's just being an American. He does not hold this hope for Trump being re-elected. Among many many other things. The turning point for me was the Ukraine quid pro quo situation. And the related cover up. I voted for Johnson. But that was the point I realized the country is bad off. Once the Senate decided party over country in such as blatantly offensive action that has gotten thousands of Ukrainians killed. I know we are in a run charted territory, real damage was and is being done, and their lack of following through with convicting or even bothering to hear witnesses was incredible to witness. Our system of government has clearly failed to hold our president accountable. My political opinions very much lean towards the idea that the government should exist to help, protect, and serve the people, not control them. I felt, and still feel like, that is the opposite of how our government runs. Four years ago I was a month past 18, and excited to finally have a vote. I can do something affect change. I can help the world be a better place. I was full of cynicism and hatred for the way the world worked I wanted to do anything to change it. At 18 years old, and prepared with a southern public education and the words of my republican father I was so sure that electing a businessman and not a politician would help. I completely bought into the Trump campaign. I believed everything he said. I was young and dumb and blinded by my anger at the world, and he was going to fix it. So I went with my dad, and voted for my first time with no doubt in my mind that I made the right choice. I got my sticker. I took my selfie. And I was proud. Then he won. I was so excited. Something was finally going to change. So I waited. And I watched. And had things started to happen. And like everyone around me I made excuses. We can't expect him to fix everything in one day. And that stuff is all fake. Someone made it up. To make him look bad. Then bad things kept happening. And more information came to light. And they kept making excuses for all of it. Then I got busy. I had a kid. I started my career. I was busy. And I didn't have time to pay attention to the news or politics. I have a baby for god's sakes that's enough to worry about. Then life calmed down and I started having time to pay attention to the world around me and suddenly we were years into his presidency and nothing had changed. The world was not a better place. The things everyone was afraid of that I laughed off as garbage or impossible had happened. The things I made excuses for never stopped. Then I kept paying attention. And things kept getting worse. And I had to accept the fact that I was wrong. I made a horrible horrible mistake. And it had hurt a lot of people. But those people were still abstract in my mind. No one I knew had been directly affected by these things he had done yet. Not in a major way. Then things kept getting worse. And the pandemic started. And the choices he made started, putting millions of people in danger. And a lot of those people were people in my life every day. My mom is extremely high risk. My boyfriend had to get tested. My kids are at risk. And the feeling got worse. I was put in the position to understand just how bad things has done have hurt people. I regret voting for him. I regret that it took me having to experience the negative effects firsthand to fully understand how badly I messed up. I wish I could take it back every time I'm reminded. Trump was elected in part because of me. I will not vote for him in 2020. I don't know who I will vote for yet. But I'm going to make sure I'm absolutely as educated on all the candidates as I can be. And I'm going to try again. I'm going to make a choice I'm proud of. And hope like hell I'm right this time. In the meantime I have spent as much time as I can learning about all the things I thought were garbage in the past and doing my very best to tell everyone I possibly can that they need to listen. Eater, holy crap this blew up. First, sorry for the wall of text. I wrote this late last night and I'm on mobile so formatting is hard. I tried to make it a little better by splitting it up. Second, I'm at work right now 
so I'm trying my hardest to keep up with reading the comments, but most of that will have to wait another few hours until I'm off. Third, thank you so much for all the awards, my first gold, and upvotes. I was shocked last night, before I went to bed when this had to replied and 10 upvotes. So waking up to this feels kind of like him in the twilight zone. I want to be clear that I did not post this to get a pat on the back or cut us from internet strangers. Though I super appreciate it. I posted this in the hopes that someone would see it and realize that they don't have to keep supporting something they know is wrong just because they openly supported it in the past. So to the few nasty replies about hot I don't deserve the praise. That's fine. That's not why I posted it. But you talking down to me for admitting I was wrong and that I've learned and moved on is the exact reason I posted this. Because shitting on me for what I supported in the past is the reason so many people will never admit they were wrong. So if you're reading this and you still support Trump because you think you have to, you don't. You can learn from your mistakes and grow. You can help the world change. Your political stance is not a lifetime commitment. You should be so proud of getting out. It's really difficult to get out of mindset like that once you've been pulled in. It's cult-like. Thank you for paying attention and doing the work. Your kids are lucky to have you to look up to. Honestly it makes it easier to break out of the mindset when you start having people in your life regularly who are different than you. A family member of mine recently married their black spouse and meeting them a few years ago and spending time with them helped show me a little bit of the struggles they face. I have other family members slash friends that have been in my life more the last few years that are LGBTQ and it's the same with them. Seeing people I care about struggle because of things that I was originally taught didn't happen or didn't matter really opened my eyes. I'm so thankful for the impact all the people in my life have made in showing me what it's like in their shoes. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.